people are back again for another vlog. We're going to Villa Park, Aston Villa Crystal Palace. We're just about to get on the tube to Houston and get the train up there. It's going to be a close one today. It's our last away day of the season and next week's our last game of the season against Man U. So yeah, I just want to see a win. I want to push for the top 10. I'll say more when we get up there, we're kind of in a rush because we've got to quickly get the train and that. So up the palace, cannot wait for today's game in a bit. midday and that as well. We haven't got a good record at Villa Park, we've lost our last three um, in a row and that, losing 1-0 when they got relegated back in 2016, losing 2-0 a couple years ago um, and yeah last season the 3-0 defeat against 10 men Aston Villa so that didn't really go down too well. So for today I'm looking for us to turn up today obviously, we need to take our chances, be a bit more clinical and that and improve on our own product massively against Watford we were simply not good enough we only had a penalty and that won us the game I think today if we can get the first goal get in front the momentum will be with us and that is what exactly we need and I'm going to go with a 2-1 win to Crystal Palace I'm going to try and be as positive as I can heading, heading into this fixture today so yeah the Villa fans will be up for it so will the Palace fans there'll be a hell of an atmosphere there for the park what are your predictions before um, you? predictions for today I think it will be 2-2 I think that probably end of the season game I wish the Palace to really play this one and be up for it yeah. um, I think we might hopefully give the youngsters a bit of a run out I'm just looking for a really good game um, I haven't got a great record at Villa but I think we just come here and go for it and we've got to play better than we did against Watford otherwise we're going to get a spank in Jack Butlin, back for Mitchell, Gay and Anderson and um, right back to final clients, that's a good defence I hope. Midfield, Gallagher, Kiyate and Luka Milivojevic. How this twat is in the team I will never know. I tell I never wanted to see him play for Palace again. I thought his days were numbered but Vieira for some stupid reason has given him another chance. That's the only negative I've got. Um, I've, said, I've said what I've said about Luca in the past, I'm not going to say anymore. All I'm saying is I'm not pleased about it, it's a real disappointment. And our front three is Eze, Mateta and Wilf. So, yeah, I haven't checked the bench yet, but I've just seen the line up. My dad was pretty peeing off, hence to why I haven't really got him on the camera right now. He's still annoying about it. But, yeah, hopefully Aaron knows what he's doing there because Villa are going to be up for it, their fans are up for it. I don't know what, I don't know what he's trying to do, whether he's thinking the players are on the beach, whether the manager thinks our season's done and over. We got to win, I want to win, man. I don't want to lose, I'll be disappointed if we lose. But Luca's really got to fuck his ideas up and perform right today. You see a lot of kickoff, come with your palace. Fingers crossed we get the win. Villa won the European Cup, making a real celebration of it, you know. Chance again for us to build this time Danny Ings volleying the ball over. 
Oh, you should have scored. An awful defender from us. Causing problems on our own doing. Giving the ball away. Switch it off, man. It's not a good start. Definitely Villa all over. There's a shot from Katina. I think it just went wide. Quite a near anyway, but. It's like Watkins into Coutinho to be allowed that space. I find absolutely extraordinary. Awful start. Not been that again at all. Come on, there's a run at them. Come on, so hard down the middle. Come on, Gallagher. Turn. Look at Klein. Come on. Come on, get it in the box, man. Come on. Ah, oh, too slow. Corner. Come on. Oh, just over. Another corner. Awful delivery. Oh, with the shot just there. Oh, man. The throwing to us, saved by Martinez, but all over Aston Villa right now. Playing some good football. Iron Products has got to improve a bit. Danny Ings, Danny Ings should have scored there for Villa. I thought it was in, just over. Curl into the top right. Yeah, silly, silly, silly there from Kiate, mucking around, causing his own problems, and then Villa nearly go and punish his score. Got a buck of ideas up. The fan here flying. What a save there from Martinez. A full player to shoot. Got it on target. Keep a pound in it. Bottom left. Just out wide for a corner now. Should be one though up to be honest. But so should Villa. It's been that even. That chance from Danny Ings. They're saying he scored it. Whoever's running the Palace media needs to be fired. Honestly. Because it's still nil-nil here. Half time, nil nil, yet another game we should be winning. It was very even in the first, I say half an hour, but the last 15 minutes before half time, we've been all over Villa. The, re the ref didn't play one minute at all. It's one minute hasn't only played about 20 seconds, to be honest. Poor referee, and he's been poor the referee, in my opinion, as, he, as they always are, as they've always been this season. But we've been playing so well, man. We should be winning. Same old problems this season. I'll be gutted if we go away with a defeat because we should be we should be at least one one no up to be honest right now. Leeds are losing to Brighton, they're heading to the championship. Watford are already down and losing. West Ham are beating Man City. Oh my! And um, Wolves are losing to Norwich. Their manager's getting sacked in the morning pretty much as he stands right now. So yeah, we gotta bloody take advantage and start winning, man. If we don't win today, top ten's in down. Um, we should be winning. I mean, you know, we've been all over them for 45 minutes. Um, and they've had a couple of chances, but like, we just we haven't got that cutting edge up front. Yeah, exactly. Just that edge up front to be winning. Big second half ahead for Palace. Come on. Kicking this way second half. Come on, you Dallas. Come on, Zaha. Shut up, please. Get your car out, ref. How are they going to check it though? I swear to God, I think this allows us. <laughs> I pray to God he does. The shirt was clearly being pulled there for the love of God. The goal, rubbish. 
an absolute joke. Typical Palace, not taking our chance, and Villa don't take theirs to score. I don't know if it was a push or a pull, whatever, but look like it from where I was standing, that's what I'll say. Pathetic. New Kuranese go off, and on comes Schlup, and Big Ben, the former Villa man, who's actually getting applause from the Aston Villa fans. Whoa! Come on, Palace, man. Come on, just get a goal, I beg you. Come on. Go on, 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 Stay down, so got away with one. Got away with one there, Palace. Got to wake up a bit, man. Very open there. one um, Villa had chances it was very even in the first half an hour last 15 minutes like I said we dominated we probably should have been going in 1-0 up second half <laughs> came out um, we were all over them a bit we worked harder than Villa I thought and then we just conceded a bit of a sus goal in my opinion it was kind of sort of sloppy um, it shouldn't that the way the goal came out and that for us to Villa and the, you know obviously that we conceded um, it was just, it just was like it wasn't our day again. It looked like another miserable away day. It was a shame because we were playing some real good football, and working really hard, and we just went a goal down yet again at the Park. But the players show fighting spirit and determination, like I always say, and like what the players have been doing recently as well. You know, coming from behind yet again, away from home, picking up another point. Jeffrey Schlup, the substitute, was sent on midway through the second half from Patrick Vieira. Brilliant, brilliant finish of Schlup. Yeah, a lovely assist from Mark Guy. He was sort of, you could say, maybe a fall for the goal, even though he couldn't really do sort of much about it. But hey, it was a good header across and Schlup tucked it away for 1 1. The fans went wild. I certainly went wild. It means a lot. The more points we can pick up, the more closer we can potentially still get top 10. It's not over yet. The Palace fans who are saying it's over. There's still two games to go. Everton away and Manu at home. Both winnable, judging by the 
Everton losing today and Man U's form recently being absolutely horrific. We could definitely turn them two teams over potentially as well. So yeah, cannot wait. It was a good away day, Villa Park, an amazing stadium. It's a good atmosphere at the beginning. I thought the Villa fans were kind of quiet throughout the game though. I thought the Palace fans outsung them completely throughout the whole 90 minutes in my opinion, apart from when they scored of course. Their first time at Villa Park, the last away game of the season. I will see you lot next week for the Manchester United vlog. That will be interesting. The weather will be looking nice as well. And I hope we can thrash Man U. I'll get into that near the time. But yes, up the Palace. Another point coming from behind. Hopefully we can get top 10. Pray to God we do. And I'll see you lot for the Man U vlog next week. Yo, 